Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Angela Olfest. I am a voice actor and audiobook narrator, and this channel is dedicated to those just starting out in voiceover or audiobook narration. I've been doing this for about three years now, went full-time a little over a year ago, and I've never been happier. So as my pay it forward, I've created this channel to help you, those of you out there that are learning how to start to do voiceover and audiobook narration to help you, you know, just to share some of the information that I have found along my own road to success in this industry and hopefully save you from some of the mistakes that I've made myself in the past. <laughs> but what I wanted to talk about in today's video is a question I've got uh, a few times last week, and that was regarding telephony, IVR like company phone greetings. When a client sends you a script and says, I need these split, I want background music, I want the on hold looped for five minutes, and I need them in U-Law. And you say, great. What? <laughs> I totally get it. I've been there myself. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. I'm going to run you through how to do some of these things. So let's get into it. All right, the so first thing we're going to do is pull up our Adobe Audition. All right, I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to call this one IVR test. It is important to ask your client what format they need their files in up front. However, we can always change them afterwards. So let's click OK. So let's just record a typical phone greeting. Hello, and thank you for calling VoiceOver Angela Productions. For sales, press 1. For support, press 2. To hear this message again, press star. Okay, so we have a, a little bit of a tester here. Hello, and thank you for calling VoiceOver Angela Productions. First thing I'm gonna do is gonna, we're gonna reduce some of the pauses in here. We don't want them that long. And then what I'm going to do, get rid of uh, my breath at the beginning, kind of shorten down the head and tail a little bit. And then I'm going to add my effects rack, which I have talked about in a couple of videos. And I will put those cards to get to those videos up above. I'm going to apply my rack, which is basically a little bit of noise removal and a little bit of EQ. And then we have... Hello, and thank you for calling VoiceOver Angela Productions. For sales, press 1. For support, press 2. To hear this message again, press star. Okay, great. So there's our IVR test. Now, if this client needed it in ULAW, I'd come up to File, Save As, and right at the format here, this drop down, select Libsyn File. And then if you look down here in your settings, you will see it's a waveform audio, ULAW or MULAW 8 bit PCM, which is pretty typical for like uh, Grasshopper and some of those other corporate phone message systems out there. And then there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so now if the customer wanted to add music, we would go to new, multi-track, and we'll just call this one IVR test. All right, and now I'm going to pretend that this is an on hold. Because if you think about it, when you call into a company and they put you on hold, you hear a message and it plays every 15 to 30 seconds. So let's just pretend that my voiceover sample here was an on hold message. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at about a second in, and then I'm going to upload or open my music. I'm just gonna pull in a track that I've used before. Okay, so I've got that open. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my multi-track. I'm gonna pull the music over. Hello, and thank you for calling. Okay, so right away, the music track is way too loud. So I'm gonna turn that down overall. I'm gonna come up here to my move tool because I don't want it on razor. I don't wanna cut anything. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a keyframe right before the voiceover starts, then I'm gonna drop the volume down a little bit, and then I'm gonna do the same at the end of the voiceover, take it back up to zero. 
So that way, when the voiceover is playing, the music isn't drowning it out. So let's take a quick listen. Hello, and thank you for calling VoiceOver Angela Productions. That sounds good, but the voiceover is still too low, so I'm going to increase the volume a little bit. Let's take another listen. Hello, and thank you for calling VoiceOver Angela Productions. For sales, press 1. For support, press 2. To hear this message again, press star. Okay, great. So, you know what? Actually, I'm going to just increase the volume just a, whoa, just a little bit more. Thank you for calling VoiceOver Angela Productions. Actually, you know, we could go a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's try that. Thank you for calling VoiceOver Angela Productions. How about just a skosh more? For sales, press 1. Okay, great. All right. So, we can see that the voiceover stops at about 11 seconds. So let's just say that the customer, or what sounds good, I should say, is that we have this voiceover every 30 seconds. So I'm gonna grab my voiceover sample again, and then I'm gonna drag it out 30 seconds. So this, this one ended at 11 seconds. So I'm gonna drag this out to 41, 41 seconds. So it's about 30 seconds away. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the volume. I'm gonna add a keyframe and then drop it down to, I don't know, 5.2 negative. And then I'm going to do the same at the end. Okay. Let's try let's widen this out a little bit. And then as you can see, the song ends right about here. So what I'm gonna do is just see what it sounds like at the end. Press star. All right. So I'm gonna extend this song out a little bit. I'm gonna drag it over. And what I'm gonna do is if you can see, you can see the peaks of the beats where they hit on the music. And you can see them over here where the music ends. So what I'm gonna try to do is to match up the beats. So it sounds like it's continuing. Let's take a listen. Again, press star. That sounds a little bit weird. So what I'm going to do, just so the voiceover is not a distraction, I'm going to mute that track. Let's see. Let's get rid of this fade a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, that just sounds really weird. So what I'm going to do is this particular song has a kind of a slow beginning. So I'm going to start it right about there and pull it over again. Let's see if we can get the beats to match up. Oh, that doesn't really work either. Let's go a little further into the song. Let's get rid of this fade and see what it sounds like. Let's try that. It's the snap that's in there that's screwing us up. So let's get rid of the beginning, get right into the snap. Let's bring it over. Let's see. It's close. Let's see. Okay, there's like a symbol or something in there. So let's get rid of that a little bit more. Let's bring it over here. That actually works. So if we can see now that we've got our music matched up, the volume is not right because we are in the middle of the voice over here. So the volume's down here. So what I'm going to do is just grab this little volume bar and bring it down to match and then bring the keyframes back up, just like we did with the other voiceover. And let's click and listen to it all done here. For support, press 2. To hear this message again, press star. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. So in order to replicate this, what we're going to do is just do the same thing that we did again. I'm going to copy this piece, and I'm gonna bring it over here, and I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to paste it in, and then just match it up again, match the beats. And fix the volume bar. There we go. Just 
takes a little bit of adjusting here. Let's do, let's try that. That was a snap. Let's see if we can. Ah, snap. All right, let's mix that right there. Decrease the fade a bit. Hmm. Let's pull it a little further in. It looks like I didn't pick the right song to do this with, but you get the idea. So we have our voice over here at 30 seconds in, so we're going to pull another one in. So this one ends at about 51 seconds. So we're going to extend this out to 121. And then just do the same thing with the, the keyframes. Drop the volume down a bit. And then bring it back up at the end. There you go. So let's zoom out a bit. So that is what the on hold message would look like. And you would just extend this out to five minutes, doing the same thing over and over, matching up the music, dragging out your voiceover snippet every 30 seconds or so. And your client may wa want you to adjust it later to only 15 seconds or maybe every five seconds, every minute even. But just make sure that you have all the voiceovers the same volume. Like, remember, I increased this one to 3 dB, so you'd have to do the same with these. It's a little bit much. Or if you're, you know, smarter than me, what you could do is just increase the overall track volume at the end if you wanted to. That probably would be easier than, in <laughs> than adjusting each one individually, but you get the idea. And then once you have everything the way that you want it, take one more listen through. Hello, and thank you for calling VoiceOver Angela Productions. For sales, press 1. For support, press 2. To hear this message again, press star. Then once you have everything the way that you want it, then you would export multi-track mix down entire session and then OK. And then once it's down, done exporting, open it back up. We don't want it in stereo. The song was in stereo, so it copied the same format over. We don't want it in stereo, so I'm going to save it as. I'm going to change to mono. And then I'm going to change the format because we want it ULA. So I'm going to go to Libsden file. And OK. And there we go. Hello, and thank you for calling VoiceOver Angela Productions. For sales, press 1. For support, press 2. To hear this message again, press star. And that's how we record IVR and format it properly and also create some on-hold messages with music. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. I appreciate it. And subscribe. That would be awesome. If you have any other questions or comments for me, please leave, leave them down below, or you can always send me an email. If you want more information about me or voiceover in general, hop on over to my website, voiceoverangela.com. I've got some courses. I've got a group there that's just filled with amazing people that are so supportive and helpful to each other. And I also have one-on-one -on -one sessions available if you have some questions and work better with a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time. So that does it for this video. Thank you so much, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.